Hello! My name's Daniel Hayden with Hayden Farms, and I'd like to welcome you to our farm. Um, my dad actually started our farm 1983 with a bunch of cattle and tobacco. We are in western Kentucky, and I grew up farming the cattle and the tobacco, and then we got the opportunity to build some chicken houses when Purdue actually came in our area of Kentucky. We built four chicken houses, and we've been involved with them for the past 23 years, and I kind of like it. Like it enough that we built four more chicken houses, and I don't know. The best part about being with Purdue is probably the people I get to work with. Not only the people I get to work with, but the farmers I have relationships with that also raise with Purdue in our area. Uh, it's been pretty neat. It's different than, say, the cattle industry. Um, being able to raise broilers, which are meat chickens, for Purdue for the past 23 years has been a pretty good experience. We've had our ups and downs and everything like that because who doesn't in any industry? But... Um, now, my wife and I are running the farm. Um, we now have eight chicken houses, and I'd like to show you about four of them. Um, Lily? Maybe Lily will help me give a tour. Huh, Gigi? Gigi. Hmm? Here we are at our control rooms. Um, I'm going to show you all what our viewing room looks like. Maybe Lily come in with me, huh? Uh, Lily. Oh, yeah, this is Lily. This is part of the farm family. And there's a lot of us that actually are involved in making our farm function. I have a wife, a mom and dad, and a couple of awesome employees that work with us, too. So while I'm sitting here working with these chicken houses in the mornings... Um, everybody else is working with the other chicken houses that we have and the cattle we have too because we have cows and chickens. So let's take you into well, our Before we here. actually go in, I wanted to just explain a little bit that Purdue thankfully has been very supportive of our viewing room and education adventures that we started two, a couple of years ago and have helped us out with this viewing room. But as you can see from our logo, we do have cows and chickens. <laughs> Let me take you inside. Uh, pardon the mess because we haven't had visitors in a while because of the coronavirus. Um, we can't allow visitors in here. We're, we're starting to open up here in Kentucky. Um, but this is our viewing room. It's basically a glass wall so people can actually see inside of our chicken houses to see exactly how chickens are actually raised. Um, and I'll show you inside the chicken houses directly here in just a second. But this is also in conjunction with our control room. This is what controls everything in the chicken houses, from ventilation, waters, and feeders, to everything in between, because it actually weighs our birds, too. Our birds weigh roughly 1.84 pounds right now at 22 days old. Let's take you inside. Well, here are our chickens. They're 22 days old, like I mentioned before, but... They're actually at the stage where my wife likes to call them the awkward teenage stage because they're just now growing in their white feathers. They come in as little fl yellow fluff balls and they molt those feathers and they grow in their white feathers. And she likes to think that they're kind of naked at this point. But moving right along. Uh, in our chicken houses, we have two rows of feeders, which are those. They're automatic feeders. They engage, the chickens actually engage them up to 200 times a day to provide fresh food 24 7. we have four waters um, all the length of the building and it provides fresh water 24 7. we do allow the chickens six hours of darkness because everybody knows the benefits of sleeping right <laughs> um, but when we're in here we're in here like i said two three or i don't know if i said it or not to be honest with you but Two to three times a day to make sure all those feeders and waters are working properly all the birds are actually happy comfortable and healthy um, but besides this like I mentioned before we have cattle so this week I'm actually pretty busy on the farm we are actually pretty busy because it's hay season and we're gonna be 
in the hay field most of the week uh, so that we can provide a nutritious food source for our cattle throughout the winter when there is no grass. Uh, but back to the chickens, uh, we have three different farms that we actually manage, so we have three different ages of birds. One farm we're actually migrating our chickens, which that means we're allowing them to go to the full length of the house, because when they first come in here, you know, they're only this big, and they don't need the whole house. But like at this stage, they need the whole house. Um, so we've already got these birds all the way to the ends of the houses. And that's what we'll be doing at one farm. And another farm will be getting ready to ship because they're 40 days old and they go out at 46 days at six and a quarter, six and a third pounds. Um, so that's kind of a overview of what we'll be working on this week. So I mentioned this would be a short tour, or pardon my accent, my wife tells me I need to slow down. A short tour. Um, I hope this video finds you all well too, but we got a busy week, so I am going to make sure that this tour is short. But uh, I highly encourage you all to reach out, ask questions, reach out to us at Hayden Farms LLC on Facebook, uh, reach out to Purdue. They are more than willing to answer any questions, provide any information that anyone of our consumers and customers are actually seeking. Um, because I really am passionate and love to share to educate and, and share information about how people's chicken is raised and how their cattle are raised too. Because I take a lot of pride in raising and being able to provide a whole, wholesome, healthy and safe protein for plates across America and across the world. Um, and hopefully I can continue to do that as long as I can get back to work and keep my chickens pretty happy because here at Hayden Farms we raise happy chickens <laughs> I hope y'all have a wonderful week and please remember to be safe out there these are uh, uncharted waters that we're trudging through at the moment so be safe have fun stay healthy y'all have a great day